Right now, we are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the capital city of Louisiana. Soon I'll be on stage for the first time in Baton Rouge in years and years. I can't wait. This is Capitalism 2012. I am red, white, and blue, Team America, down to my bone marrow. Deeper and deeper I get into that, the older I get. I tour America every single year for the last 31 years. I meet more Americans than any president. I shake more hands than any president ever does. They're busy, they're in rooms, they're doing stuff. I'm out with people. And the more I go through America, the more Americans I meet, like hundreds if not thousands a year since I was 20, and I'm 51 standing in front of you, the more deeply in love I fall with America, the landmass, the idea, democracy is a set of rules and laws and as democracy the ever-evolving social experiment that we're all engaged in together I love all of it even the people I disagree with I'm still on board with them the only American I hated is John Wilkes Booth because he screwed me and you out of a second uh, Abraham Lincoln administration which maybe could have altered the course of reconstruction era America which is kind of Monday morning quarterbacking but I really think there's some traction to that and it's like a little bit too late to you know to get into that, but, but he's the one American that I hate. The rest of you are, are cool with me to varying degrees. And, and so, thanks for enduring me. I'll see you down the road. Uh, fare ye well into this good night. See you next time. You can hear the crickets. The audience is left. The show is over. All it's time now is for me to take off my stage makeup and take off my crazy suit and walk outside into the gleaming lights and talk to the eight people who'll be congealed around the Bon Jovi mobile and hear what they have on their mind. After that is done, I'm gonna be loaded on to the Bon Jovi mobile. An IV will be stuck in my arm. I'll be put into a narcoleptic state as the bus hurtles through the American night to Montgomery, Alabama for the next stop on the 2012 Capitalism Tour. Every single thing I just said, with few exceptions, is a total load of crap. I thank you. Sure, no problem. <laughs>We're librarians, so nice. number one, 100% yeah. behind your literacy efforts. And I wanted to know how you felt about um, voter registration deadlines. I think a lot about it because th in this election this year, I don't have a crystal ball, but I think it'll probably be a pretty close election because of voter suppression, of people getting to the polls and finding out their, their name isn't there. You see some very, very well-funded and very well-planned out forces in America trying to keep people from voting, from you know voter ID laws to just misinformation. And that's just, that's that walk like a duck, talk like a duck scenario. It is what it is. It's crassly cowardly. They want a certain demographic not having the ability to vote. What is the importance of literacy and education in this country going forward? I grew up in Texas. I had independent school districts and it was, I came here for the job as a librarian and I would go on book talks to go to schools and what I saw here was so vastly different than what I experienced even in my school. It's just horrendous. It's like the teachers, some of the teachers just gave up. It must be tough work to be a teacher. It's, got, it's I mean, it's got to be. I, mean, I, I would be terrified of that yeah. job. And there doesn't seem to be, part of it's there's not enough money pumping into these schools. I, I went to schools where they were windows boarded up because they didn't have the money to fix anything and I just don't. I don't think there's nearly enough importance on education in America, and there should be. Look at all the libraries closing up throughout the nation, too, um, just because they don't have the money for them.